guys and welcome back to the channel hopefully you guys can hear me um i haven't filmed a video sit down video in a while um because everyone is home so there's noise all the time so if you guys hear some noise in the background that is the hubby playing music in the living room and but i've got the door closed so hopefully it's not too too bad but today I do have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. I went to two Dollar Trees. Um, I went to, they're both near my house, but they're in opposite directions. So since I was already out, I did have to go to the post office. So what I tried to do is if I have to leave the house, I try to take care of everything while I'm out so that I don't have to go out the next day. However, um, sales on eBay have been picking up a little bit so it is causing me to leave the house a little bit more so each time I do a go out I try to hit every store that I need to hit and run all errands that I need to run before I get back to the house um, so with that being said let's just get right on into it if you guys are new to the channel welcome my name is Shanina and here we talk about saving money making money and everything in between and so I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys today um, so I went to the Dollar Tree to, well first of all, the first Dollar Tree that I went to, I haven't been to in a long time, and I was actually surprised by the amount of stuff that they had in there. Um, that just, I learned a lesson of, oh, I'm sorry, I thought Olivia was coming in here, but I learned a lesson of do not judge a book by its cover. Um, because this particular Dollar Tree I tried to avoid because of where it's located and I assumed that it was really, really small on the inside, but I went in there yesterday. It's been years since I've been in there. Um, and I was surprised. I mean, it was really clean. They had a lot of stuff. They were out of stuff, of course, but they had a lot of other stuff and the store was pretty big. Um, and so I was able to find a lot and then of course I traveled on down the road to the Dollar Tree that I frequent to the most and of course like most places they are also out of um, certain necessities so like toilet paper and stuff but they are stocking up on other items um, so I was hoping to find the Spick and Span antibacterial spray it's yellow um, I've seen a couple of um, people here in the Dollar Tree community haul those so I've been looking for that, but I haven't been able to find it. But I did find some other things, so I'm going to share that with you guys today. Um, so there, this is in no random, no um, specific order. It's just kind of random. Oh, another thing that I wanted to share too. Um, I do sell stuff on eBay, so from time to time I will go to the Dollar Tree um, to see if there are items there that I can resell or flip for a profit. Sometimes it works where I do find things and sometimes I don't find anything. Um, there are other things that can be sold, but the profit margin is so small that I just don't even, you know, go through all of that because listing, packaging, you know, by the time I get it mailed out, the profit is is really really tiny so from time to time I do um, flip items from the Dollar Tree if they make me a decent profit so this is just a mixture of sourcing items and items for the home so I just want to let you guys know that um, so one of the things that I found at the Dollar Tree now I've seen stick ups there before but it's always been like the store brand or the Dollar Tree brand. I've never seen Airwick stick ups but they had three different kinds. They had lavender, they had crisp breeze and then they had an orange one. Um, orange there weren't that many left so I didn't get any but I did pick these up. I picked up three of the lavender ones and three of the crisp breeze um so these are going to be listed on ebay with the exception of two of them i've got three each so i'm keeping one of each for the house and then the other ones will be sold for profit um which right now a lot of people are shopping online for those type of necessities so it's been working out um some of the items that i have are kind of home items or items for your home so um they have been selling so another item that I got, this was a limited edition Glade spray, and I've never seen it. I've never seen it at Kroger, Dollar Tree, Dollar General until yesterday. Um, so it is the Sultry Spiced Rhythm, 
and it's black rum leather and mint and it's I sprayed it in the store and they only had two so I went ahead and got the two that they had but I sprayed it in the store and I like the scent um it did smell kind of masculine so you know if you're into like that kind of woodsy smell leather smell kind of um I think you'll like these so I got two of those so these are for the house these are not <laughs> um sourcing um for sourcing so actually as I'm taking everything out the bag I'm going to separate what's going to be listed and what's going to stay here in the house so let's get to the other bag so these two bags are from the first Dollar Tree that I went into that I was surprised at what they had um so I told the honey that I was going to get him a glasses holder um, if you guys saw my previous video from the Dollar Tree, we did go there to get him some reading glasses. So um, he was kind of making a joke saying that he needed the the little string so that he doesn't misplace the glasses. So I just got him one. Um, they had this one and then they had one that was like a brown and white type of plastic material. But I don't know. This one just seemed more his style because it's just black and white. Um, and it matches his glasses. His glasses are black. So and he actually looks really good in his glasses. Y'all, I've never seen him wear glasses before. And every time he puts them on, I think about how cute he is. He's like so adorable with these glasses on. So I got him that. Um, the one thing, the other thing that I did find, which I thought these were really, really cute actually. And these are going to be sold online. Were these books. So these are pocket puzzle workbooks and so one is a crossword and I thought these were really really cute this one is a the crossword one so it has 35 puzzles in this one so that's the cover for that one so I got two of those and then they had a word search one so I thought that was pretty cute and this one um, it's just your plain word search so this one is crossword so in case you didn't know the difference crossword is the puzzles where you have to put the um, fill in the word and word search puzzles are words that you basically have to find so that's the difference so they had that so I did get two of those and what I'm thinking about doing is lotting these because I also have this one which is a Sudoku pocket puzzle and it has Sudoku on the inside and this one has a total of 62 puzzles the word search had a total of 64 puzzles so between the three I think that these can sell pretty okay. I did do a search for the Sudoku Kappa brand puzzles. And those are selling like hotcakes online right now. And I'm assuming it's because of the pandemic. You know, people want, they're trying to busy their time. So a lot of word searches and puzzles and Sudoku puzzles are being sold. So what I'm thinking about doing is taking these three, since they're one of each, and lotting it like this to sell. Um, so I have, so I'll end up having, um, I'll end up having two sets, so it'll be sold like that. So I think that's pretty cute to do. Um, I did find some socks for myself, because I've been wearing Olivia's socks lately, but she's tired of me wearing her socks, so I got myself some more socks. I don't know what happens with our socks around here, but every time we go to the laundromat, we come back with missing pairs of socks, so... I got myself two pair and they feel pretty comfortable. Their size is five through nine, so hopefully they fit. I wear an eight and a half, depending on the shoe, um, or an eight. So there's three that comes in the pack. So I got this black one with the line solid colors, and then I got this gray one with the solid color. So I'm just going to throw that in my, uh, what you call it, shoe bin or sock bin. Um, so I needed some more hooks. I actually would prefer to use these. I can pay a dollar for these all day long because you're not putting any holes in the wall. Now, I did feel some type of way about the bigger ones because when I put it on the wall in the bathroom and took it down, it peeled the paint off with it. But for a regular like wall like this, where it doesn't have like that uh, shiny paint on it or whatever that you could just peel off, these work pretty well. So I got two of these when I picked them up I had in mind what I was going to do with them but I can't 
think of it right now but it definitely had something to do with hanging up some stuff so um, if you're trying to save some money and you just need these now you can only use them once they don't unfortunately they don't have like refillable pads or anything so once you peel it off it's a done deal but whatever so I got two of those and um Let's see, so since we were kind of talking about clothing, let's pull open this other bag, which was from the other Dollar Tree. And so this Dollar Tree had t-shirts. And so I've got us two t-shirts each. Um, and they're Hanes. So I've got this red one and a blue one for the honey. So he's got two shirts, and those are Hanes shirts. Um, and then I've got Olivia two shirts as well. So one of them is a medium, and it looks like kind of a nice size medium. I think it's a an adult medium, actually. But she's slim, so she should be able to fit it. And then I got her this red one. Uh, so this is a youth t-shirt, Gildan or Gildan, but it's a size extra large. So this one's a little bit smaller than this Hanes medium one, obviously. But, you know, yeah, it's a little bit smaller, but it'll be okay because more than likely she's probably going to end up wearing those as pajama shirts anyway. Um, and then I got myself this bright neon green. It's really, the material of it is really, really soft. This is a Hanes t-shirt as well. And it's really, really soft like that um, hashtag tweet her or whatever it says on the front. That red, red shirt that I normally wear or that red USA shirt that I normally wear. Those are really, really soft cotton shirts. Um, so this one is soft just like that and that's the only reason why I got it. Otherwise... If it wasn't soft, I would have left it because of the color. I like bright colors, but I don't know. Um, so I did get myself that one and this kind of like a brownish, grayish kind of color. I don't know. So they had those. So I got us two shirts each. Okay, so now we're moving into the other bag here. Um, so the kids, like most of America schools are closed um so i'm trying to keep olivia motivated doing school at home because it's i think it's starting to get to her now um in the beginning she was okay with it but now i think the lack of class interaction and student interaction you know she can't interact with her classmates or anything i think it's starting to take a toll on her because her demeanor is a little bit different um, when it comes to doing her schoolwork, she doesn't find it interesting anymore. So I figured, okay, well, how can I make the situation better? And I came up with what I think will help, but I'm not sure. Um, so I'm going to switch our room around because I know I have this thing about moving furniture around, but the area where her desk is located, it's right in front of her bed. So I'd have to literally like scoot her up or tell her to get up for me to go through there to put her clothes up and open up her window and all that stuff so I'm gonna switch it around and she's got one wall in the room that doesn't have well one section of a wall that doesn't have anything on it so I'm thinking I'm gonna move her desk over there um, and try to make that wall give it like a classroom vibe so that she doesn't feel like you know so she can feel more like she's at school even though she's not at school you know, she's she's in that I'm at home mode, you know what I mean? But I need her to feel like she's at school so that she stays motivated about her work, okay? So, every Dollar Tree has a teacher classroom homeschool section. And so I went to both of those sections in both, well, went to that section in both stores. And this is what I found. So... They had this, and so this is for grades four through six. It's an educational poster, and it has a multiplication table and math symbols. So it's two posters, and I figured, you know, because she does her core learning classes, so they're not doing, like, Spanish or anything like that right now. She had one 
physical education assignment about a week ago, but it was the first and the last. But for the most part, every day she does language arts, reading, math, and science. Um, so since math is the subject she kind of struggles with the most, um, I figured this would come in handy. She can look at the multiplication chart, look at the math symbols while she's doing her classwork. Um, I also found this. This is for grades four through six. For those that are new to the channel, I have a 10 year old daughter who is in the fourth grade right now and she's my only kid. So I am a mom of one. Um, so I found this and this is a good reader's habits and then reasons to read. So I'm also trying to motivate her on reading. Um, it's not that she can't read. I'm just trying to extend her vocabulary and try to get her more interested in it. Um, because she doesn't mind reading, but I guess because she's not physically doing anything, she tends to fall asleep while she's reading, okay? And I don't mean just every now and then. I mean every single time. So... Um, whether she's sitting at the table or her desk or sitting on the bed, reading, uh, I guess, doesn't do it for her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not um, active enough because she's just sitting there reading the book. So I'm trying to motivate her to get into it or to get a different perspective on her schoolwork, a more positive perspective because right now she's in a funk about it. And I'm really, really trying to... Um, remain level-headed and be understanding and calm about the situation because it's no fault of her own okay um so yeah so there's two posters here are what they look like so one of them is a goal readers habits and then the other one is just a stack of books and it says reasons to read so these are going to go on her wall around her desk and I am so glad that I found this, y'all. This is a wall map. I have a wall map sitting in my Amazon account, in my Amazon cart, and it's been sitting there for like three weeks because it's $13.99 and I'm cheap as hell. And I'm like, listen, I don't want to pay $14 and then got to order something else on top of it to get the free shipping. Because if you shop on Amazon, you know about the $25 free shipping situation, right? So this wall map has been sitting in my car for weeks because I didn't want to pay $15 for a piece of paper to hang on the wall. But when I was in Dollar Tree, I found a wall map for a dollar. Okay, so we're going to, I'm going to actually, I'm going to open this. I'm curious to see how big this is because I mean, it don't have to take up the whole wall, but you know what I'm saying? She needs something to look at. And I just did not want to pay $14 for a wall map. Oh, and this is a pretty decent size too. Look, not too big, not too small. Big enough to put in a classroom, office space, or wherever you want to put it at where your kids are learning. So I'm so super super excited that I found this it's actually my favorite purchase out of everything that I bought um because y'all when I seen her putting this up I just grabbed one really quick because I was like you know what Olivia needs this she needs some motivation so yeah now I can't get it back in the plastic all right so we'll set those to the side um so let's see that's that bag so we're still on school stuff so i did get her some more construction paper because she used all of her construction paper um she does do little you know arts and craft projects here and there or whatever but she ran out of construction paper so i got her two and they had these at the dollar tree now these are for sale okay they had these fan flags and they've got the baseball symbol. So they're legit flags, okay? Legit. So they had the Atlanta Braves. You guys, I live in Atlanta. So if you're in another state, they may have your state. But I live in Atlanta, Georgia. So our baseball team here is the Atlanta Braves. And so I actually got two of these. Yeah, I got two of these, and then I got 
two of these. So this is Georgia Tech. It's This is one of our um, schools here in Atlanta. So I got two of these. And these are legit too. Like, you know what I'm saying? They've got that. So when I look those up under the, um, the sold listings to see how much these were going for, these are going to bring in a pretty decent profit. So I got those. If they sell fast, I'll probably go see if they have some more. Um, but stuff like that, you know. So on to the last bag here. Okay, so in this last bag, I have more random items. Alright, so I only have one candle wax warmer. And the other day when we were at Kroger, I picked up a Glade Wax. I forget what fragrance it was. Fragrance it is. It's like a wood, excuse me, like a woods type of fragrance. But anyway, I've only got one wax warmer, and I've been telling myself that I want to get the plug-in kind. I just haven't done it yet. But they were stocking up at the second Dollar Tree that I went to, and they were putting these out. So I got another wax warmer. So this is like a grayish color. I can't. I'm not sure if you're able to tell. Because I'm sitting in front of a window, so it might be washing it out. It might look blue, but it's gray. So I got that. And one thing in my stockpile that we do not have is emergency candles. So um, they had these five-hour emergency candles. Like, I need to get batteries, candles, flashlights, just all that survival type of stuff. Um, I think I've been focusing so much on... Um, household and personal care items that I forget about other necessities that we need in case of an emergency okay so these burn for a total of 30 hours because there are six candles in here um so they burn for five hours each so I got two of these um you guys if you're you know if stuff hits the fan and all the powers go out all the power goes out then um you know we've got some emergency candles here so I will be making that a constant purchase. I'm going to try to get at least one pack every time I go to the Dollar Tree to kind of build that up. Um, needed some more powder. So I got this one. The last time I got blue. The time before that I got pink. So we're back to pink. These smell pretty good. It's just cornstarch body powder. I put it on every time I get out of the shower. Because I've got creases and I sweat. Okay. <coughs> Alright. Um... Baby. Yeah. Okay, so I'm sorry about that. The honey was trying to, I guess he was trying to ask me something, but he had the door open. And I don't want to put music over my video because of copyright, okay? So I'm hoping I don't have to. But anyway, so of course with the wax warmers, needed more tea light candles. So I did get two of those. Oh, wait, I'm lying. I got one. <laughs> Um, I think I only got one because I actually been using the tea light candles that I got for like 10 cents at Dollar General that time when they were having like the 50% on top of 50% sale. So I've been using those because the, the throw of those candles, they, they're scented, but they don't, I mean, you can't really smell them. Okay. So I've been using those, but I've got some more tea light candles just in case when I run out of those. And we need more toothbrushes, so, <coughs> excuse me, so I got the AIM to toothbrushes this time. I know I could have got the Dollar Tree brand, which come with like four or five toothbrushes, but I feel like they don't brush my teeth as clean as a brand named toothbrush, if that makes sense. I don't know. But anyway, so they had these. The toothbrushes that I'm using now have like these little plastic grips on the side right here to get like in your gums. So I really like that. Um, so there are two in a pack. I try to get two different ones. You know, because there's only three of us, so we'll have an extra toothbrush. Or if one of the kids come and visit, because you guys know I have stepchildren. And by the way, they have been visiting pretty frequently since the COVID. Or, <laughs> can't say the C word. But since the pandemic, they've been visiting quite often. So, I've got to make sure I have stuff in case they need stuff. Because they are living on their own right now. And, you know, time's hard, okay? So, I got some toothbrushes. Now, the rest of this stuff... Oh, except this. I'm out of lipstick. You guys, when I did that um, declutter makeup 
um, video. I threw away all of my lipstick. I don't have any more lipstick. So I've been wearing lip gloss. And I'm trying to get back into wearing more, wearing makeup more often since I have it and it's just sitting there. Um, I'm trying to get out of this stay at home mom mode that it's easy to get into if you ain't going nowhere, right? Versus where you have to get up, get dressed, put your face on, leave out. You know, that used to be my life. But then when I started working from home, I became more of a just look like I'm chilling every day. No, I'm trying to, I'm trying to move away from that okay so I don't have any more lipstick so the lipstick that I was wearing the most was dark wine by wet and wild and they had some they just recently put some on the shelf however I thought it was more it made more sense and I got more money more for my money by getting this so this is a lipstick nail polish combo and so of course Olivia will get the nail polish and I'll keep the lipstick so let me give y'all a glance of what the color is so it's dark wine um, and it's like the only kind of dark red color that looks good on my skin, you know, so got that um, So the rest of this stuff that I'm going to show you guys is going to be placed in my eBay store So I've got this. This is Revlon color stay brow mousse And it's in the color Auburn. So I got three of these. I, I'm gonna keep one for myself, of course, but the other two are going to be online. Um, I just sold a lipstick the other day. I don't know if you guys saw that video. But yeah. So stuff like that is starting to sell you guys. Okay. So here is a repeat purchase. I have bought and sold these before in the past. I've just been waiting on them to stock them back up. Um, these sell for a pretty decent profit um, on eBay. So I got two of them. And what these are is basically if you have like a cap that's loose coming off or you have a filling um, or a cavity and you can't get to the dentist right away. Maybe your appointment is not until two weeks or something like that but you're in pain and you know you can't eat, can't drink. Um, this is just a temporary fix. So it's an at home repair kit. And you basically can do your own fillings or fill your cavities uh, or repair your caps at the house until you can get to a dentist, okay? So I got two of those. And last thing I got, they finally got some hard candy eyeshadows in. I've been on the hunt for these and my stores have not had them. They finally got some in, but this is the shade that, it, that they had at that store, Ivy League. So it's like a kind of like a greenish brownish type of palette and so I got one for myself and then I've got five to list online so I like the packaging these are pretty cute I've used hard candy eyeshadow in the past so I really really like it um but y'all this packaging is the bomb like this is actual fabric uh that you can feel and it has texture and everything so I did get five of those to list online. So yeah, so that is everything y'all. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm going to go ahead and start putting this stuff up. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.